I play Margaret Keane, who um, is a painter, and as we find her is leaving her husband. She's just going to be a single mother in San Francisco, declaring herself as an artist, and she's very scared, and um, but hopeful. And she meets this uh, charming fella named Walter Keane. Um, she kind of can't believe he's interested in her, and um, he sort of sweeps her off her feet, and he's willing to accept her daughter as well, and. She sees that this as a wonderful opportunity to start life over as an artist. To, they paint together. It's this beautiful time. And um, it, he has these wonderful ideas about how to sell paintings. And through a misunderstanding, he claims one of her paintings as his own. And sort of the lie starts to run away with him. And then she gets embroiled in this lie. And um, that's where we sort of start the descent. Uh, into big eyes and and um, she becomes this um, introverted woman who um, is very isolated lying uh, doesn't have anybody that she tells the truth to and um, eventually gets the courage to leave and eventually then gets the courage to tell the truth and to reclaim her name and her relationship with her daughter yeah, well, I think she was looking for answers, and even her paintings were about seeking answers, and that gave her the answers that she needed. Yeah. I love Tim Burton. <laughs> I love him. Um, what was he like on set? Tim on set is a bundle of energy, and it's so appreciated. Um, he really opens the door for you to walk through creatively. Um, there's no wrong with him. He, he laughs a lot. He will cry occasionally with your character. And you really feel that he's going on the journey with these characters with you. So to have a director that's so supportive and so um, appreciative of your work is, is amazing. I've always sort of um, wanted to tell him how much I loved his work, but I'm, uh, I have that bit of Margaret in me, which <laughs> makes me a little... Uh, a little awkward socially, so, yeah. I had met Christoph several times, just sort of backstage at awards things and sort of through luncheons and very sort of work-related events, but he always was somebody that I felt was very charming and really engaging and liked to engage in true conversations. And when it, it was told to me that he would be playing Walter, I was like, I have got, I just really would really want to do this. and. Um, he just has such a straightforward manner about him, and I so appreciate that. You're never going to guess what Christoph is thinking about a situation, and I love that. I really do. And um, working with him on set, the same. He just goes for it in such an honest way and in such a pure way. It's funny, because normally with the film, I have a really strong idea of what I want them to take away, but this is Margaret's story, and so at one q and I, ask, I asked her, like, what do you want people to take away from your story? Because it's one thing to make a film, and it's another to live it, so what do you want them to take away? And she says, um, stand up for yourself, stand up for truth, read your Bible, <laughs> and don't lie. So. That's what I, I love that she says that. When I met her, there was just so much to her. She has so much wit and, and um, just so much life. And, and really, what impressed me about her the most was that she really still takes accountability in some way. You know, she sees that she told this lie. And I thought that just said so much about her character, that she really doesn't, she recognizes that she was abused. She recognizes that, that he, you know, there were reasons that it happened. But she still says, you know, I feel guilty. I feel guilty that, she even feels guilty about how Walter turned out. She's like, if I hadn't lied, maybe he would have turned out a better person, you know? And so she's kind of remarkable in that way. Well, I didn't know anything about this story before I read the script. I knew nothing about the story of the Keens. I was familiar with the paintings. I had no idea the story, and it was amazing to me. And everybody's, you know, people have said, like, how could this have happened? But it made a lot of sense to me how this happens. And it's how, it's how the small lies we tell can just turn into, just spiral out of control and really affect our life. and create, bring a lot of darkness in our life, and um, it's kind of up to us to 
to tell the truth and, and create light again.